Hey group, this is how to curry comb and brush your horse for the Buffalo Trail Scout Ranch Horseback Trek Program. I've got my curry comb, my brush. Let's go ahead and approach our horse. Now this is Hondo. And as I walk up to him, I'm making sure that I'm talking. This allows him to know where I am so I don't startle him at all. I'm also approaching from the side. So you can come up to the front, to the side, but if at all possible, make sure you're not coming up on your mount from behind. I'll take my curry comb, my brush, starting up here high on the back. I'll start brushing down with the grain of the hair. Brush, curry comb, brush, curry comb. I'm primarily focused on the portions of this horse that are gonna come in contact with the pad, the saddle, and the associated straps. So I'm breaking off any of the mineralizations, cleaning off the salt deposits, anything he might have rolled in, especially if they're coming off pasture in the winter time, they might have a winter coat. So a lot more hair, we'll take that off. We're cleaning it all up so he has a good, comfortable ride. So this side's just about done. All right, last focus before we go to the other side of the horse is back here underneath and behind the armpit. Now this is some of the softest hair here. So take a look at that, real sensitive. I wanna make sure that we only use the brush down here. Notice I've put away the curry comb for a moment, brush that down really well. And when I think I've got it, I'll check with the back of my hand and make sure there's nothing down there, no dirt, no debris, anything that might cause some discomfort or perhaps even injure him over the course of the ride. So clean it up real well. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Once I'm done with this side, I'll come around the horse. Now, as I come around, you'll notice that I'm really up close and it may seem counterintuitive. So a lot of folks will come out and they'll try to be right here. They think this is safer. The best way to do this is to be in contact with these horses, come right around. If he does get startled, he might push me over. He might be trying to get out of the way something. I'll get knocked down. I might get hurt a little bit, but it won't be a real injury. If the horse does mean you harm, and none of ours do, but if you do to get around a horse that does someday, if he wants to come all the way up and kick me, this is where the fatal blows come from. So we have amazing horses. I've been out here for 23 years, and I've been kicked zero times. So we have really good horses. Take care of them. Try to make sure you're in contact with that animal as you come around. Now on this side, same as before. Curry comb brush, curry comb brush top of the back all the way down. This is also a very good time to inspect your horse. Make sure they don't have any rub spots, any injuries, things that need to be addressed or perhaps medicated. Brush them all down, make them pretty. And they also enjoy this quite a bit. Now your wranglers will come out several times a day before rides and after rides and put their hands up on the withers and you'll see them move their hands all the way down the backbone, and they're looking and feeling for any kind of rub, any kind of wear spot, or if that horse dips down his back. And that indicates perhaps a sore or something that we need to look at and figure out. They might need to recover, or we might need to check out the tack. And something on the pad, a burr under there, or perhaps a damage to the saddle. So make sure, double check, clean them up, watch for us. I don't want to forget about this. Up underneath here again, under the girth, take my brush, Get all that cleaned up real well. Some horses are a lot, a lot dirtier than others. So clean it up, check with the back of your hand. Honda's ready to go ride. Make sure they're all brushed down. Throughout the week, you'll do this before you saddle. A lot of times we'll put the feed bags on them and you'll start to brush down and saddle your horse while the feed bags are on. Uh, when we come off trail after an entire week, we'll have each of these horses and get the water hose out clean them all down, get all the salt deposits off. It feels good for them. I'm gonna make sure that we show our appreciation as we put them away for the week. So they have their couple days off and they get cleaned up. So this is Hondo again. Guys, we hope that you come out here and ride with us. So watch the rest of the videos in the series. And as always, well, until next time.